Hey guys, I'm John with Hops and Brews, and I literally found the holy grail of beers. So, like I said, I found literally my holy grail of beers, and it is, well, Black Sheep's Mighty Python Holy Grail golden ale um <laughs> i uh um this beer has been around for a while i literally bought this purely for well the beer the can art the label that is it that it's I'm, i i'm a sucker for that i'm a huge mighty python fan i'm a huge mighty python holy grail fan um this just tickled my fancy and i think it deserves well, the review it needs. This beer comes in at a 4% ABV, a unavailable IBUs. It gets an average rating on Untapped of 3.31. Another fine addition to the black sheep flock of premium bottle ales. This ale was specifically commissioned to commemorate the 30th anniversary of Mighty Python in 1999. 10 years later, in their 40th anniversary, Holy Grail is still going strong with more hops than a killer rabbit. It's a full-flavored golden ale with a distinctively fruity flavor followed by the Black Sheep Signature Dry Finish. We brew Holy Grail with Marson Otis Malts, an old and expensive variety that is renowned for its taste and the quality of the beer it produces. A mixture of old English hop varieties, including a touch of WGV hops, gives Holy Grail its lovely fruity notes. We use a touch of wheat, which helps deliver the lovely creamy head and lacing down the glass. Just what you would expect from a proper Yorkshire beer. All right, so let's check out Holy Grail, an amber golden ale tempered over burning witches. And what do you burn apart from witches? More oh, witches! <laughs> mm. uh, actually, overall, it actually does look like a really nice golden nail. You know, it is a little darker but I equate that to being probably more maltier, um, which is something I would actually probably enjoy. So a very frothy, white, thin head, but that's all right. Ooh, big malt aroma. Oh, that is actually oh, quite pleasant. Wow, actually, I, okay. In all honesty, I was expecting this beer to be, well, uh, a big dud. It is, it is, I'm a, I was expecting this to be basically a pure, like, can art. This is a horrible beer, you know, we're selling it just purely can art. I can see the appeal of this. It is a golden ale, and it's not overly sweet. It's got a light honeyness to it. It's crispy. It's, it's not lagering, so you're not gonna get that, that weird biscuity flavor. You're not getting that in this. Um, it's crisp, it's honey, it's light. There is a little off-putting flavor at the back end. Not overly like I'm going to hate it and never drink it again, but uh, it's there. As soon as I reach that point, if I did this, I'm perfectly fine. Because the beginning and middle flavors of this beer is actually where this beer really shines. It's sublime. It is crisp, honey. It almost has this iced tea quality to it. Hops and tea have a very similar um, profile. There's bitterness, there's fruitiness. Teas and hops can both do that. And so I almost get an iced tea aspect in the first two flavors, it's the back end that this beer disappoints. But it's not a horrible disappointment. It's just, eh. I almost kind of prefer this over, say, a lager. 
or a pilsner or something this nice golden ale and they call it an amber golden ale which again i think speaks more to the malt sweetness and i'm a big fan of i do enjoy english ales that i let them warm up and i do prefer their malt characteristics it's decent it's light it's crisp it's malty I could drink this all day and this price point, I got this at two bucks. Great beer. So, so if you're looking for a good crisp alternative to a lager or pilsner, this is something you probably might want to take a look at. And well, if you're one of our neighbors over the pond and you're tired of a pilsner lager or just looking for an alternative with a hint probably a little bit more multi-body and you're tired of people making fun of you for your beers smelling like elderberries check out black sheep's holy grail amber golden ale it's actually pretty darn good hey guys thanks for watching this video remember to hit like and subscribe follow me on all my social media stuff links will be at the very bottom of them descriptions while you're scrolling down there go ahead and leave a comment or two this beer's been out for a while have you gotten to try it the black sheep mighty python holy grail you gotten to try it let me know what your thoughts are on the comments below i'm sure i'm not the first person to review this beer did i do a pretty good job let me know see you guys